Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. As you can tell, I am missing something very obvious on my face right now, and that would be my eyebrows. Eyebrows are super important. They frame the face. They just complete the whole look. You know, you can have skinny brows, really thick and fluffy brows, really high arch. There's so many different brows. You could have like straight brows and they just really change your face completely and my eyebrows have been through a journey i've had so many different phases and i haven't filmed an updated brow tutorial of how i'm actually wearing them now which is a little bit bushier than i think i've ever worn and i really like the way that i've been wearing them and you guys have noticed them too so when i asked if you guys wanted me to film an updated brow tutorial i was excited and i did film a tiktok reel but obviously it was very fast and not like super in depth so if you want to follow along then please keep on watching all right so as you can see my eyebrows are pretty thin and sparse. I have to fill them in. <laughs> so my current brow routine consists of two products. We have the ABH Brow Freeze, which is a styling wax, and the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil in shade Brunette. Now I have gone through, I think, three of these now, and I actually really like it, so I had to buy two more because they don't last very long. <laughs> I think I'm going through like one pencil every week or two weeks depending on how much makeup I'm doing which seems kind of crazy but Wet n Wild's products are cheaper so it's not that bad versus like a $20 pencil. I think it's only like a $5 pencil. But yeah, I've just been buying mine at CVS. Let's crack open our new pencil. Okay, so I'm going to talk through this. I'm going to take my spoolie. and my brow phrase i'm just gonna bend my spoolie a little bit just to make it easier to rub out rub around in the pot i'm gonna pick up some product oh that was in the wrong area i want to pick up some product more towards the tip of the spoolie see how that looks i'm going to start Combing the product into the hairs. And I'm combing everything upwards in the front half of the brow. And once I get about halfway, I'm gonna start brushing them kind of up and out, more like diagonal. So more up in the front half. And then as I start to work my way down, push them out. And then when I get to the tail, I'm still pushing them out, just not up. I'm just pushing them more like that. So I'm just going to comb through them. So I'm just going to continue to do that. I want to make sure the brows are really in place before this sets. All right, this looks pretty good. What I wanna do is add just a little bit more product on the tip. And I'm seeing right here in the center isn't really sticking up. I want to add some more product and comb those hairs up. Okay, so my brow looks like this. 
your brow is probably going to look different because yours is probably not as sparse as mine. But uh, what I'm going to do next is just kind of press down to make sure the hairs are nice and stuck. And I'm just going to wait um, probably about a minute for the wax to completely set and then we'll move on. Usually I would just do my other brow while I let this dry, but I want to show you the difference between the two brows uh, when we're all done, you know, for dramatic effect. Um, and then I'm just kind of cleaning off my spoolie while the wax is still a bit wet. Um, otherwise it does dry down on your spoolie and get kind of gross. So better to do it while it's still wet. As you can see, it's pretty much clean now versus this if you let it dry on your spoolie. <laughs> uh, let me just check this. All right, once it's dry, it looks more matte, you can see. So time to start filling in the brow. I used to have more hairs around here, but they've kind of been balding. So I think I want to start right here. So I can get very small hair-like strokes. So the only problem with a brand new pencil is it's got weird stuff on the end. Okay, so I'm not pressing very hard. I have a very light pressure and I'm just making small strokes and I'm moving kind of quickly. Everything is real time, as you can see. So what I'm doing is I'm slowly building up the brow in a way that's going to look more natural than if I was just to go like one long hard stroke, you know? I want these to look like hairs. So I just continue to do this while I build up the brow. If I get any clumpiness, I can just Use my spoolie. And with my tail, I think it's too short this way. So I personally like to extend the tail. Just like that. And I'll probably go back and fix it some more in a bit. So I'm slowly kind of working my way towards the front. The front of my brow <laughs> is very sparse. So I'm just going in, same thing little tiny brow strokes not pressing very hard letting the pencil do the work and as I come up to the front I like to kind of curve the hairs if that makes sense well they're not really hairs but when I'm drawing them, I like to curve the hairs. So I'm just continuing to curve these hairs, and especially up at the top too. We're kind of curving them backwards. 
ult towards the tail. And so now I'm going to be building up the top half, like so. And if you just press too hard and get a clump, just run your spoolie along that. I like to round out the top half. So see how this is kind of more rounded than what the angle it was before. I'm seeing that I need to add some more hairs in here. I'm getting some clumpiness from the pencil. <laughs> so I'm seeing more here. Okay. So I always like to kind of sit back, have a look, make sure I'm not going too crazy. What I'm seeing again now is I need to add a little bit more up here. And back here. Taking a very, very light pressure, I'm going to make some of these higher because this is going to fool people into thinking these are real hairs, even though, you know, they're not. Okay, so then I'm taking a little bit of my foundation and just cleaning up the under side and here's how it looks comparing the two obviously a lot thicker a lot more shape thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful let me know what you thought down in the comments below if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.